It's a, a mine, a cobalt mine in Voice Bay. Yeah, Voice Bay. So it's in it's in Newfoundland, actually, Newfoundland Labrador. But it's actually a nickel mine that produces cobalt as a byproduct of that nickel mining. In, in substantial amounts, or it, it, it would produce. Uh, it will produce somewhere around two percent of the world's cobalt production. So so yes. So sixty percent comes from the Congo at this point, going to eighty percent. Yeah, it's actually closer to seventy or seventy-one or seventy-two percent to today, and, and head north of north of eighty percent coming from the Congo. Not optimal over there in terms of, of uh, environmental or, or child labor. Uh, yeah, you have political concerns. You've got power and infrastructure concerns. Certainly, ethical sources of of, of mining and, and environmental challenges. They promise that it. it's getting better, but is it? It's tough to say. It's, it's tough to say. It's, there, there are a number of companies that are trying to formalize the, the artisanal mining sector in the DRC, but it's, it's got its challenges. It's rumored to be 20 to 30,000 kids that mine these, these mines die. in the DRC. It's, it's, it's Absolutely. You're, you're talking of putting a 12-year-old boy down a, a small hole to, you know, with, an, with an axe and a um, shovel. Your company itself, are you a mining company or do you buy the production from other places that actually mine. How does so, it, is this an investment vehicle? It's an investment vehicle. Cobalt so, 27. That's right. So we, in, we invest in, in primarily nickel mines that are producing cobalt as a byproduct. And we also have this, the world's second largest storage of cobalt that's uh, stored in warehouses in Europe and, and here in the U.S. There are limits of the amounts of cobalt in the United States. I mean, it's constantly uh -huh. cited as a potential problem if we're going to translate to more and more electric vehicles. What, what do you say to that? Absolutely. The U.S. doesn't really have any significant cobalt production. Uh, most of it is coming from the DRC and, and places like Russia and Canada and, and Madagascar and PNG and other, and other countries. Uh, so the U.S. used to have a strategic stockpile that they sold in the last uh, couple of decades. It's, a, it's going to be a challenge if you think about the OEMs and, and trying to lock up that supply chain for their well, lithium-ion issue batteries. that limits how many electric vehicles we can have. I don't think so. There's, there, there's enough cobalt in the world, and cobalt will react like every other commodity in the world, which is in, in, in a case where you have significant demand coming online, the price has just got to be high enough to, to incentivize that new production. This deal doesn't kick in until 2021? That's correct. And the Voices Bay deal, it's a 2021 deal. 2021 yep. deal. And you're not actually, you don't have relationships with OEMs now, car OEMs now, but you're in discussions, but can't really talk about which one. Hey, it would be fair to say that we talk to every major automaker around the world. They're, they're all focused on the, on the supply chain, specifically as it relates to cobalt because of its challenges.